Kid YouTube, this is Dr. Kindo, and I'm here with best man Joseph. Hello, hello. <laughs> he has come to my hometown to play Super Mario 3D World with me. This is, of course, the new Mario game that has come out on the Wii U. I mean, who doesn't know that, right? Right. <laughs> At this point, but yes. Uh, we were excited. Um, Joseph and I are actually post-commentating this video right now, so we have played through. You know, we're watching our recording of our first playthrough on this, but... Of course, you know, Joseph, we just had two women also playing with us. Indeed. Uh, one of them was my wife, which was great, of course. Everybody likes her, you know, Mrs. K. Uh, but she had her friend over, and uh, I'm not sure how experienced her friend is with video games in general, probably. But yeah. So you're going to see, actually, that we have four players who uh, come in. See, look, the girls haven't even <laughs> pressed A yet. <laughs> they haven't even gotten in yet. So uh, it was funny because we were like, oh, crap, but who's going to be who, you know, because we're going to use up all four characters. And so it's like the women only have the choice of Peach for the only girl character in the Indeed. game. And so then there's Toad, you know, who I was like, hey, Toad kind of sounds like a girl. And I was like, Joseph, who do you like to be? And luckily he said Luigi. That's, you know, that's yeah, your man, dude, yeah, Luigi. And so I was like, well, good, because I wanted to be Mario. <laughs> Normally, I would be Peach, actually, though. Uh, probably. I, that, that's, yeah, because you, you like being female, female characters in games, yeah? <laughs> Girl power, and uh, I like Peach, and I played as her during E3, and I think had the most fun with her. So, yes, I have actually played this game at E3, which probably long-time people uh, from my channel know. They saw that when I casted that, but... This was interesting because the opening cinematic, so many people said, wow, the plumbers are actually fixing the pipes. They never do that in any games that they actually just fix the pipe right there. So the first time we see Mario and Luigi really uh, <laughs> in high definition, I guess, and uh, fixing the pipes. And so, yes, the premise, of course, I guess, behind this game, you know, is this little fairy right here. All of her little fairy friends are captured in these jars from Bowser. And look at this. She gets herself captured by Bowser. He conveniently uh, has a jar right then and there <laughs> appear out of his hands. <laughs> uh -huh, I have a Sprixie so, jar. <laughs> <laughs> that's so great. And so, yes, uh, you know, I was happy, of course, to be Mario. And, oh, look at that, princess. You done got yourself in trouble. But uh, Joseph, uh, yeah, as we said, you know, Joseph was happy to be Luigi. And uh, everybody in this game, they're going back to their old school you know, NES uh, powers, you know, which yes. is really cool. The SNES, I should say. Uh, so Luigi, for instance, has his little fluttery kick jump that makes him jump farther. And uh, Peach, of course, can hover. And Toad is the fastest runner in this game. And Mario is just your all-around guy. And so, Joseph, how crazy was this where Mrs. K was actually using the gamepad here as Peach. And so I was like... Oh, I'm not in control. Right. <laughs> I was like, look at her. She's going off like in the dandelions. I was like, come on. Well, the, the other funny part is I, I don't think Miss K understood that she was controlling it at first. Yeah, like, so I, 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 I literally think she started walking around. I was like, oh, wait, I'm in charge. So look, she can't even hit the block. <laughs> My poor wife. Well, and, and then she was like, oh, wait, I don't know where the first level is. And I was like, it's the one with yeah. the, the <laughs> only level that's there. So we were kind of going nuts. So but yes, this uh, needless to say, we are going to just commentate this first level one one. Um, and so they didn't even know to dash at first, but I did tell Melissa right off the bat that she was the fastest character. Uh, that was Mrs. Kendo's friend, Melissa. She's playing as Toad, so she dashed right out, you know, made a mad dash for it. And everyone's discovering the cat stuff, and, uh, I was happy to have Joseph here, actually, but you'll find out later on that his strategy did not work so well with the women playing with us, I would say, because right. he, I was happy to have Joseph here for, he, he knew to go into the trees, go into the bushes, go wherever, you know, to try and find the secret stuff. But uh, the girls kind of eventually just made mad dashes to the end of the level, <laughs> like as fast as they could. Yes. So you will see that a little bit in our gameplay here. Um, but yes, what I like about this actually is that uh, that was really cool, is that you get all the power-ups and you can use them for later. So the reason that I, you know, mentioned that and everything like that is because I don't really remember that from E3. I think I just remember that they had one space, so you couldn't save up four. I, I, yeah, I don't think they they debuted it at E3. I think I think that you just had the one spot. And I believe it was only the gamepad member that could use it. So that was the other thing was oh, that only okay. the gamepad player could do it or whatever. And that was just for the demo, everybody. So everybody listening to me, I'm not saying right now. Right now. I'm assuming anybody can use those, right? Like I was the only one pressing minus, but could anybody use those? Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't know. 
So right now, like we're talking about the power-ups, you know, stalking power-ups. Real quick, that was a really good example though of the girls just <laughs> running to the end and Dr. Kendo and I trying to go explore. Uh, but yeah, sorry, yeah, back so, to the power-ups. Yeah, I mean, just uh, all, all I was saying was that I'm not positive if every player can do that. Uh, I'm sure everybody on YouTube is going to be like, yes, no, whatever the answer is. But um, I was the only one kind of controlling that while we were playing today. Uh, and so... Yes, I, I, you know, th it's very chaotic having four people, and sometimes it's fun, you know, I, I, sometimes I think the chaos is really fun, because everybody's got their own way of playing, and they're all goofy and whatever, but uh, Joseph and I, I think we kind of wanted to play a little bit differently, and uh, part of that's my fault, you know, I didn't make that known to the girls, and... Uh, Bringing the girls into this. I think we kind of expected that that could happen, right? You know, so I'm not gonna sit here and just complain about it or whatever, but uh, I, mean, I, th I think it's like you said we we knew okay we, We've invited the, the, the ladies in and that's yeah. that's gonna bring more chaos to, <laughs> to, to the the system there So whether you want it or not basically yes, and so here I'm uh, of course uh, if we didn't say this before you know I'm controlling Mario of course and Joseph is uh, Luigi best man Joseph and uh, Mrs. K was Peach, and her friend is Blue Toad. And uh, I, you know, I really got a kick out of this. I actually hadn't played as Mario before, you know, at E3. So uh, the only character I played as was Peach. <laughs> so I hadn't had any experience with them. But Mario moves a little bit slow, which is funny that I'd say that because Peach is the slowest character, you know. Like, mm -hmm. so why would I focus on that, you know? But I just. I saw Toad running out the gate, and I was like, must catch up to you. Like, you know, I really wanted to catch up. So, uh, overall, this is a very fun game. Can be filled with chaos when there's, you know, tons of people wanting to do, go every which way and everything. But uh, I do think it's a successful game. It's definitely uh, going to hit big on the Wii U, because it already has hit big, you know. Indeed. It uh, is competing with the Xbox One launch, of course, because that launched today as well, November 22nd. I feel like today was a huge day, because Xbox yes. One, this, and Catching Fire, <laughs> all on the same day. And my and, dad's birthday. Right, I mean, it's, today's just I mean, JFK. JFK assassination. I mean, it's, it's so. just, it's a crazy day. So today it was filled with excitement, and we, Joseph and I definitely did have some excitement while we were competing right here. He was so close, man. <laughs> and so, uh, so, so close. <laughs> yes. Uh, so we really enjoyed this. We'll try to bring you some more episodes, though, especially before Joseph leaves. I want to get him in on some more commentary. So uh, anything you want to say about the game, you're good. All right. So we appreciate it. We'll catch you on the next vid. And thanks for viewing.